Hello and welcome back to Digging with Dallas. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and liking. It really does mean the world to me. Two little things. One, I'm going to apologise for my for my mucky knees if you see them. Busy laying some slabs, and I did say I would stick this quick vlog together. It is all about my pond. Uh, I've had a chap that's messaged me, someone called Archie Jenner. I do hope I've got your name right there. And they've asked me about the pond plants I've got in there, how the watercress is doing. That I planted a few, well, it's quite about a month ago now I did that. And all importantly, how my homemade pond pump is going as well. So we'll go to my pond right now and I'll go through exactly what I've got in there and how well it's working for me. Personally, it's working really well. And we'll go across there now and you'll see exactly what's working and how it's working. Let's go there now. And here we are now at the pond. So actually what I've got down here is I've got my water lilies here at the front. They are straight down here at the bottom. They don't like as much moving water. So I have just turned all the water pump and everything off. Otherwise you wouldn't hear what I'm saying. So this here is on quite low and it is just a top sprinkler. That's all that does it is like a dome that comes off of it. On the top here, I've just got quite a few just floating water plant uh, amongst that. There is the watercress. Yeah, that's a piece of watercress there. Um, but your main one that you was asking after Archie is, is your watercress. I've got two lots of watercress growing in the pond. So my main one, one of the main ones is this one here in the back corner here. Um, there we go. That there was a bag of watercress that cost a pound. Look at all that roots coming off of that. All that there is adding extra oxygen, nitrogen to the pond. It's just helping out balance everything. There'll be wildlife that will come up and live in this. And again, in this pot here, it was just a simple, I just put a bit of garden compost in there because I didn't have any aquatic soil. So I have got a way of using just garden compost. I have stuck the, the um, watercress straight into it. Then over the top of it, I just put some of the gray slate just to hold that soil down in there. As we can see, look at that root. Beautiful, brilliant. So the other pond plants that I've got going on in here is this one just over here. This here is my water mint. Again, that there is adding the oxygen and nitrogen back into the water. I will uh, lift this one out for you before I go to my pump pump. pump. <laughs> there we go. Look at the root formation on that. Absolutely brilliant. And that smells amazing. If you could smell that, it's beautiful. So over to the pond pump. Inside of it, I have got a piece of this fleece line in here. This came from a Hello Fresh Meal. I do believe you get it in the Gusto boxes as well. So save them because they're well worth saving. Uh, also, over here again, Archie. I've got another water press. So again, that one there is the one I think I just put there to float. Um, this one that you can see here is part of the iris. But I'll move that out of the way. So yeah, the iris is growing in here. But again, so you've got that root formation that's going on in there. Um, the water cress. Um, <laughs> it has well since I pulled that one out. So there is your watercress. Oh, would you look at that? I don't know if you saw that or not, there was a frog in there then. So that's your watercress growing in that one there. And we'll now just talk you through this homemade pond pump that I made. The, Inside of it, like I've just said, there is some of the webbing that you do get with the HelloFresh Gusto boxes. It is like fleece lining, so it does work really well. All that is in here, it's, it really is quite quite simple. I'll uh, set the camera up so we don't wobble about too much. There we go. So all we've got in here, let's take that off of there is I've got a couple of bricks that hold, holds it down. Right, I'm just gonna move that, here we go. So we've got a couple of bricks in there that hold, holds it down. 
Then underneath that, that fleece lining, I have got some slate, which you can see down here, which is underneath it all. So the water has to come in down here at the bottom. So that's where the water goes in. Then that fills up and the water comes out of there. And what I'll do now for here is uh, we'll go on a little bit of a walk. I go turn that on because the electrics are the other side of my archway. So I'll plug that in. We'll go back round and you'll see water coming through. So that's that plug back in. So let's go back to the pond now and you'll see what I mean with the fountain and the water pump. You'll understand why I turn this off for, for talking to you. So the water fountain itself, it really is just it's more or more just like just a trickle that comes out of here. You can adjust that to have how you want it. I have it running at something like that, just so it's not disturbing the, the water lilies too much. And um, that box is now beginning to fill up at the back, which is what we're going to show you next. So, there we go, as you can see, the water is now filling up in there, coming up all through the bottom, so it's got to go through a lot of the slate before it gets to the webbing, then it comes through the, I say webbing, through the, the fleece lining and then it comes out here goes back into the pond. The main pump itself is right down here at the very bottom. It's a, it's a double pump that is, so it pumps water up and, and through that. And that's pretty much what, what I've got going on there. Uh, I also have a bridge that goes across there. And that just gives it a little bit more cover on it so the sun's not on it all day. And that there is why you kind of suffer with your blind weed. Because I'm lucky, the sun, it comes up pretty much behind me over here somewhere and then it comes round. So it's all, all day long, all the way around it goes and it sets in between the houses kind of over here. So yeah, you saw the garden then, it's a massive garden. So yeah, we are lucky we do get the sun in the garden all day. So yeah, the pond does get quite a lot of of the uh, blanket weed in there or the blind weed in there and that's purely and simply is because it's in the sun so i hope you found this helpful archie um and also if there's anything anyone else wants to see on the channel drop it in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to you so we'll see you on the next one of digging with dallas thank you very much for now please remember to like subscribe and hey share it on your social media get some more subscribers going for me thanks very much we'll see you on the next one bye bye for now